So if we look at the reference photos, let me drag and drop it in so we can look at it. It's too big. Let me scale it down so that it's not too much. Just have it here to, so we can see. If we look at this reference, we can see we have um, this nice profile here and we need to create one for ourselves because currently when we go to options, element attributes and we go to profile manager we can choose here and see what kind of rail uh, profile that we have so these are the rail profiles that we have and the only re revolve profile that we, do we do have is this one here so if i click edit i can come in and see that this doesn't look like what we have in the reference so let me copy it and bring it on the ground floor here so this is what we do have and it definitely doesn't look like any of this so you can find any image online in order to create your custom profile so for mine i will put it in the description below so you can download this that i used i used this one right here so i'm going to resize it uh let me use this image here so I chose this one it's the closest I could find this one right here so I'm going to resize it by ctrl k and make sure and actually let me position it right you can resize by ctrl k and I can scale all of this down to somewhere like there so just I need the profile to sit within this up to here so we bring it here so we need to change the profile from this to that and for that I used the spline tool so I got the spline and began to draw around because roughly because all I need is uh, something that's closer to what we do have here so now we have it you can go ahead and clean Once we have that shape right, we can uh, draw in the rest of the shape. So this is about 115. And I'll get the center line by hovering over there and getting the midpoint. And I will draw the rest of the shape. So I'll pick this fill and fill it in here by space clicking. So now we have a profile to work with and then I can create a new profile by clicking on this plus icon here and we will name it as volute post. So I'll copy this one and paste it in here in volute post, center it and put the slower part right there. So of course I need it to be saved as a railing not a wall and I say save. So now let's build a stair for us to work with. So we will come in here and to the stairs tool. And let's make it about 1.2 wide. I think I'm going to make a node linked stair that is about um, uh, seven steps. Isn't Seven steps is about what? 1050. Yeah, those are about seven steps if they are 150 millimeters of riser just for demonstration everything else we can leave it the way it is then i say okay and come and place it in so i'll place in a single flight stair yeah that goes up to that and since we are going to be doing so many things around this area let's first um, change the representation so we we do not have a lot of confusion here so we go to settings in the same stair and let's remove a few things that we don't need in the display 
make it a clean representation let's just make it simple and then go in flow plan symbol combinations let's remove the lamb numbering and the description such as it's just clean you will add them later if you do need them and of course we are going to be using the finish so we, you need that uh, in the structure is where i'm interested i think for this example i can choose this one here this is just a blocky shape right there and i say okay so let's also build the sort of slabs on which this this one will stay just simple slabs i'll get a simple slab here we make it about 150 make it start from zero and uh, it's it's already concrete so I can leave this and let me place it in here yeah just a simple a simple thing here and then i'll make a copy for what's above kind of overlapping let me move it a bit down here great and in 3d i need to move this just to show you what i want to create just a simple context all right so this is what i want to work with i think this is too high just put it zero right yeah this one down looking at the reference right here we can see that we have wood for the tread and the riser is um, probably the concrete that is uh, plastered so we can choose also to go into the settings of this in the finish you can bring that up and we can just use the treads uh, you can see we have options of using just the risers and the treads so let's use just the treads for this um, kind of illustration and in the treads we can also change the way it looks like like in the reference we can go into the tread settings and we will choose something that looks like what we do have so looks like it's about 75 degrees this one we can make it about 25 yeah because we did choose this is 25 just can make it thicker yeah and the rest can stay the way they are so we can make the tread about 50 millimeters thick thinks it's wood and in the tread components be sure to choose any kind of nosing that you like yet 25 here at the nosing and then you have this chop so let me kind of zoom in to show you what it just created something like that i think here in the tread settings you can also control that gap maybe we can leave just five millimeters yeah that looks much better so we have the basics ready so let's create a basic railing on top of that so go to the railing tool and uh, let's begin with a segment and we do not need the handrail and also this railing beneath we do not need it we do need the balusters but we need i think just one for this case so we will come here in the spacing and instead of five by that are there by default i think i will use just two spaces so we have this space and this space just one burst in between and then you have this one here so let's use uh, for this inner post it needs to be hmm i think i'm going to make it about 300 yeah i think i need one at starting at every step <clears throat> you see in a moment why i did that so in order for us to put the things that we did have actually let's begin with the top rail we need uh something closer to what we do have which is a shape like that and we can link it 
such that when we change either of these dimensions, it changes the rest. So we chose about 80 millimeters of width of this um, top rail. And that is set. We can also give it a timber material. We'll go to the baluster now. And in the baluster, to change, we change this to a revolved post. Uh, which revolved post is going to be from the reference, we have this kind of uh, upper top ending and the revolve, we want to choose the one which we created, which is the volute post. And for the beneath one, we need to change it to this one, which is there by default. And now we can decide how big these are. Uh, from the drawing we did make, it was about 60 for these kinds of things and the maximum it can go for the profile I think should be about 70 yes and also the 2d representation of this thing can show like this because that's what we have done we have we have a, a box top and a rounded profile and we will do the same things for the inner post which will also be a revolved post that has this top rail is a volute post here and revolves yes and has that and uh, change this 60 here 60 there and about 70 here and one more thing that i did forget to change is uh, we need to reduce how far this thing is because um, this is about 80 so we can uh, leave a space on top so from the top we can leave to about 70 yes it was about such that um, actually 60 and it will we'll come back and work on it such that um, we do not have uh, interlocking that interlocking so the the final post is the posts which should also be revolving and they should have the top part and the bottom part like that and they should revolve using uh, a volute post and they should be about the size of half what is given here 60 and here about 70 i think and uh 2d representation is that uh, which should also be true for this one here should be in 2d it should be about type 5. i say okay let's first see those things that we have changed so when we go in 3d and I space click in order to uh, place it. You can see that it's easily placed. And uh, this kind of looks pretty cool, right? Um, as we can see, we have these issues, which I didn't want in the first place. So we need to take this down. Yeah. And then also we need to deal with the ends of the railing. Not looking there quite good yet. But uh, you can also see how this, these balusters are following this. And it's because I chose that this one should be a post and the baluster should be just this one. So you have this, if I select it, and go into edit mode. So we have these are the two posts and then we do have these as the balusters. So you have this one in the middle of this and that. And remember it is uh, associated. That's why it goes all the way down. And then you have these. If I hide inner posts, you can see the balusters. The balusters are centrally placed in between the inner posts. So if... I bring back the inner posts and take away the balusters. You can see the posts. I made them 300, so they become associated to those uh, areas right there. And this is uh, pretty good. So let's exit and fix some things. We go to settings. 
So we will go in, let's begin with the balusters. We need to make it about 70. This one, we also need to leave a gap above, which is about 70, and the posts as well. We leave there the same. And now the ends before we leave. For the ends, we need to choose a top rail. The top rail, we need to add an end, which is, um, let's use a rail end, the rail itself end, such that uh, when we go to, to top rail end components, we still have this one right here. And I don't know why it is, does not have the link option, because now if I change any of this, it doesn't change the rest. It, it really should be having that uh, thing because our size was 80, but this moved as well. So when we go to the top rail here, you can see that this moved to 68, which should be the case for our end here. So this should be 68. So please, I think we do need that. And the profile that we did choose, of course, is this one, which is the same one we used before. And we can also use timber for that. Yes, and um, pretty great. Let's see what that looks like. It looks pretty good. I think the end looks good. You have that um, sort of smoothed out ending. <coughs> On both sides and um, the balusters have cleaned up the area that we were talking about and now it looks quite clean so now it's time to make a volute and when we do make a volute we have to disassociate because it's currently associative and the, when we try to make a volute it is going to disassociate so we will lose some of the information but I'll show you what we can do in order to have something good. 